Well, hello again, everybody. All my little fluid art friends. It is Doris at DF Designs. How is everybody today? I'm mixing up the resin because I had a few things to say before I started pouring. So I wanted to talk while I was mixing. Um, I do have a shout out today for a friend of mine named Tish. She's got a channel called Nap Time Creations, which... I'm assuming that means she doesn't when her kids are taking a nap. Anyway, um, I'm going to link her channel below. Um, go over, check out her channel. She's just starting out on um, YouTube. She doesn't have many subscribers, but the videos she's got up so far, they're good. I, I, I watched one today that she put up that had to do with um, using um, uh, resin drips or the resin skins and putting cabochon she she goes through the whole process of how you do it so i think you should check her out and show her some support subscribe you know put a thumbs up below some of her videos but the main thing subscribe because there's so many artists out there that nobody knows about because they just they don't have the following like the big artists and they're not out there doing crazy videos like I do. And they're also not out there like I am, um, talking up my stuff everywhere I can. And showing off all my little crazy experiments with resin. So anyway, um, I'm giving a shout out to Naptime Creations today. Her link will be below the video. Well, I can probably do an iCard up there which will take you right to her uh, her uh, channel and this is all part of the paint it forward campaign started by Tammy Anderson um, her channel link will be below my video too um, it's just to give a shout out to the other artists because she did one for me and it helped me tremendously so I'm trying to make sure I do a shout out every day or every video I should say Okay, so go check her out. Anyway, um, today's little, exp it's not really an experiment. Um, it's not a strainer. It's a cup. Now, I tried to record a video of me doing the drill, and that didn't work. So I took um, a little knife and, and, and poked holes and then kind of turned the knife blade a little bit to, to get them bigger. And all it is is a plastic cup. These are the, oh, I want to say five ounce. I think these are the five ounce. And they're, they're, they're called bathroom cups. Um, they're in the uh, pa uh, paper plate section at Walmart. And then this is just a, uh, this is just a, a cap that I hot glued. And then, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me see if I can, um, here, this might show it. You can see the holes. And that's what we're going to do on these two pieces. And, of course, I made probably made way too much. So, I'm going to, I have a couple of uh, pressed cardboard coasters. They're from um, Inkfish. Um, I'll put a link below this video of the Amazon store that I go to that I get just about all my supplies from them. Either through their Amazon influencer shop. Or through their own website, because I get a lot of my pigments from them. I wanted to show you something else real quick, too. Um, I didn't wipe this off yesterday, but if you, um, I let it dry, and you can get the resin off if you slowly but surely, carefully, you don't want to hurt yourself, you can, um, get the knife blade tip underneath it sorry I didn't realize I wasn't showing the camera and you can you can get your resin off so you can save it for another pour that I'll tell you something it looked like a dragon to me or a sea serpent so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it okay colors I'm using today I am using stone coats teal base tint as the base tint for all these okay um, and then I'm doing, um, I'm doing, um, I think I'm, I'm going to do eye candies, Okinawa blue. I just got it and it looks so pretty. Okay. 
and I figured that, that there's enough of a difference between the colors. And then I'm going to use my number one favorite tint by Just Resin called Breakfast at Tiffany's. And to add a little contrast, I'm going to do a little bit of Color Obsessions Dark Turquoise. Okay. And then to top it all off, I'm going to use Just Resin's Bright Gold metallic powder pigment um, the just resin and the and the color obsession come from um they're, they're made in australia and you know that the shipping would be outrageous for us to get it here in the united states so that um same place artist till death they buy in bulk i have no idea where that came from oh i don't have alcohol on there yet sorry don't mean to block the camera but um, they buy in bulk, and then they sell it here in the States with less shipping. So, it, they, that, that's a service to us all because the shipping, can you imagine what the shipping would be? I think the shipping would be three times as much as what the, pro, as what the uh, tents cost. And nobody can afford that. So... ArtistTillDeath.com, two T's, two L's, and go check out their website. I'm going to link that below, too. That's where I get 90% of my pigments from. Okay, let me pour out my resin. Um, this is going to be from my base tint, so I need more of it than I need of the other ones. Okay, and these are not very big, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of each color. And, of course, the gold I'm not going to do a whole lot of either. So I'm doing about an ounce. It looks to be about three, maybe two and a half, three ounces for the base tin. Because these are just six by six tiles. Um, you can get these, I think they're like 50 cents a piece or 68 cents a piece at um, your home improvement stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, and uh, Menards. If you guys have a Menards where you're at. Um, but any place that sells, um, home improvement stuff usually has those tiles. They're six by six tiles. I taped off the back. That's just to keep the drips from, um, going under there and staying there. Because when they go under there, uh, I'm going to do just a little bit more of this. Okay, there we go. Okay, now first I'm going to mix my um, my base tint. Okay, I think I got all the little. I think I got all the little dried dried boogers out of there. Is what I call them. That's just where it dries inside the uh, lid. Now the reason I'm putting. I'm kind of doing it all in teals with the gold. I love teal and gold, okay? This is the uh, base tint, which is their t uh, teal base tint. And you want, because these are not primed with any color, you don't want to, uh, you want to make this opaque enough to where you don't see the color through it. But you also don't want to put too much in there to not have cell action okay and this looks like it is mixed with enough okay let me do my breakfast at Tiffany's whenever you open these you always want to give it a good stir because it separates when it's sitting in wherever you keep your your colors at so I just give it a little stir I don't have much in there of resin, so I don't need much of the tint. You know what? I want to put just a little bit more than that. I didn't. I didn't double dip. I did not double dip. You do not want once you put your um, put the stick in the resin. You don't want to go back into the color to get any more. Okay, so. But I didn't double dip because I put it just above the resin. I said, no, I need a little bit more. Oops, okay. This one's kind of full. Wow, that was a bubble in there, okay. Okay. 
Now this one's rather dark too, but I don't know. I don't know how transparent it is. Okay. And remember, I don't have much resin in each cup because these aren't that big. Now I have not seen this. I just got this one today. I, I get. I got this one off of Amazon. Because I saw this Okinawa blue and this Okinawa green. And it's like, oh, I love that color. And that is pretty. That is really pretty. I love teals and turquoises. Uh, I'm going to put just a little bit more. I don't know how, how it's going to be. And, of course, I've got red stuff on my on my gloves and I'm getting it all over the lids of everything and last but not least I am doing just resins bright gold uh, metallic pigment powder and I am only using this for an accent so I only got like an ounce in there so I don't need that much now the ones with the powders when you first go to mix them up because they're on top of the resin mix it slowly until it kind of incorporates into the resin okay and then once you know that it's that it's not loose powder anymore then you can um go in there and give it a really really good stir to mix it all together okay there's my accent color now this is a mica powder and it's just like all mica powders you don't want to stir it too fast at the beginning I know those of you that know how to do this are probably saying, well, I don't know, why does she keep telling me that? Well, I don't know if the person, if, if somebody that's going to be watching has never worked with resin before and they might want, might need to know things like this. You know, this might be my very first video of mine that, um, the very first video of mine that they've watched is what I mean. Okay. This is, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, Okay, now, this is the Dark Turquoise by Color Obsession. And because I stirred the pigment with this stick, some of it stuck. So what I'm doing is, is I'm getting the, the straight pigment that's stuck to the stick off of it. So it'll get down in there. Oh, this is so pretty. This is like a, a, a Dark Turquoise. And last but not least, my little favorite, Breakfast at Tiffany's. I don't know why they called it that. Um, but it is, it is such a cute color. I love it. Okay, we've got all the pigments mixed up. And I think I'm going to go from light to dark. And then maybe... Maybe, I don't know. I have to see how much resin I got. I'm not sure how I'm going to put it in there. Okay, so first, we are going to do a base coat with this teal. And you don't, I'm not putting a whole lot because I dripped some resin on there somehow. So, let me just wipe off that little drop. You don't need a whole lot because you're going to move it around. I usually move it around my finger. Um, that's why I got the uh, this cut-up t-shirt as an alcohol rag because you have it with alcohol on it, and it's very, very good for cleaning off your gloves. Okay, now I'm just going to use my torch to heat it up and pop some air bubbles so I can move it around. Always hold your... When you first turn it on for the day... Hold it away from your piece for about five seconds. Blow out those little dust boogers that are stuck in there. That crept in there overnight. And then that way you're not blowing them on your piece. I mean, except for other stuff that might fall in there, I very seldom ever see. Huh, I very seldom ever see them. Okay, now. Oops. Now, I'm just going to... Let me... i got to use this hand. Because I don't... I'm just going to go around and cover up the dry spot because I'm going to be pouring a lot more resin on top of it. So you just basically want to 
get it right up to the edge. It's okay if it drips over a little bit. But resin will not move unless there's more resin, unless it's on top of resin. It slides easier on top of the resin, okay? Okay. And don't worry about these little places where you can see where your finger made a little made a little um um river i guess or a little divot in there um what it is is um you're pushing it but it's self-leveling so it's going to go back oh, i just pushed a whole bunch off of there talking <laughs> okay not a big deal i think i got enough on here and i got more in my cup too if i need to okay now i got resin over the whole thing this one's got it over there eh, I missed a couple spots. Okay, now I'm wiping the resin off my finger, my glove finger. Okay, here we go. You're going there. And you're going there. Okay, now I think I'm going to put the dark down and then the uh then the next shade and then the next shade to see how it looks. How much it covers now I'm going to do it around the edge only because I know that's where the holes are at I don't want to get the resin oh, sorry I had I, I couldn't see what I was doing okay there's that layer ah let me do this layer okay let me wipe that edge off so it doesn't drip anywhere. Okay. Well, it's not really looking like a flower. I mean, we we shall see. Okay, here comes the pretty Okinawa Blue by Eye Candy. And it's going to push more of the, uh, of the uh, dark turquoise out of there that might be in there. And I think... I'm going to top it off with what with a little bit of gold coming out of the cup. This one's going quite a bit. I think I put what more in this one than I did in that one. Oh well. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I just hit the cup and moved it over. So Okay. Now, let me see. I'm seeing some really, really cute stuff right here. I like that. This one, mm, it's still going. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit of gold inside each one. And then I'm going, I don't see, you can't use a heat gun around these plastic cups. Maybe I should have done them in paper. Never thought of that. Oops. Be careful that you don't get too much up the sides because it'll take forever for it to come out. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to put just a little bit more of the dark on top of that gold. This one's going gangbusters, so I know I put more in there than I, than I should have. Ah, the gold's peeking out. Look at that. The gold's peeking out. Now, resin flows slower than acrylics do. So, you've got to give it a little time. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get to do some smushy coasters. Anyway, so you want to give it some time to come out. Let's see. That's probably is all that's going to come out of that. And I'm going to tell you something. These are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Okay. Now I got to get rid of air bubbles. And I'm going to, I'm going to blow it around just a little bit. I, I just turned on this on for the first time today, so I'm not blowing it on the piece right right off the bat. Okay. You want to blow over it. Get rid of your air bubbles. Okay. 
And look at the cells popping up. Isn't that pretty? I'm afraid to move them because they're in the middle and I want them to stay in the middle. This one, I, I, I put way too much on this one. you know what these were just an experiment uh, I do want to put what can I put in there I want to put a little bit of gold back in the middle so you just drizzle a little bit of gold in there I do want a little bit make it look like a gold flower on top of it okay and let me see. And let me get a little bit of the dark in there for contrast. This one, I think, is going that way. So I'm going to have to turn you around, little guy. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to do much more with the heat gun. I am going to tilt just a little bit to try to get it back in the middle. Because our resin is going to keep going even if you, you know, keep going out even if you don't tilt it. Okay, now let me see. If, oh, look at all that resin on there. Oh, Oh, I see some smooshy coasters in my um, future. So, I tell you what. This is done. This was very, very fun to do. These little cups, I mean, I wouldn't even worry about cleaning them. I would just toss them with the rest of your cups. Um, all you need to do now is go around and smooth out the resin. Because it may not have covered all of it. And... You want it to all look the same color. Okay. And you want to check your corners. Just like you do in an acrylic pour. You know what? You don't do that in a... In a um, you don't do that in a uh, alcohol ink. So, I've tried all three. I, I, I'm happiest with resin. I'm, I'm telling you. You get the right resin... And you get the right colors, and you can create some very beautiful things very easy. And you, as you saw right here. Okay, let me turn it just a little bit so I can see this side. Yep. And another thing you got to do before you put them to bed in the dust-free zone is you got to go underneath and... You may, you get rid of all the uh, little drips that might be under there. Because you don't want those under there. Because they'll, well, I got tape under there, but. Um, see, now I'm going to set these in the dust-free zone flat. Okay. After I get a tray empty, because I, <laughs> I am terrible about that. Oh. Because I'm using half of my um, dust-free zone. I'm using the bottom shelves. It's more like a, uh, more like a storage than anything. Okay, I'm not going to do anything else with those cups. So, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. You don't have to have a whole lot of stuff to do um, to do these um, designs. And I want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love for you to uh, be a subscriber and come back. And don't forget to hit the little bell for the notification so that way you'll be notified. Um, I go live 
every um, Tuesday now at 6.30 Central Time. I'm in Wisconsin, so if that gives you any indication of, as to what time it would be where you're at. Um, and if you have any questions or comments or complaints, it doesn't matter. Just put them in the comment section down below, and I will answer them. And don't forget my shout-out. I did a shout-out to Naptime Creations. They're going to be linked below my in the description. Please go check her out. She's brand new um, on YouTube, and I think her videos are so great. So anyway, um, thank you all for watching, and I love the resin right out of you guys. Bye for now.